Welcome back, everybody. Today we are in the shop. We're doing some plasma. Good friend of mine, his son is looking for some plates for a technical vest, but they're not the type of plates you would think. They're for weight training. So let's get to it. All right, so we're going to use the CNC plasma today. The first thing we must do is we must measure this vest and figure out what size we need so we can draw this in this CAD program. I'm using Bobcat to do all the drawing with here that you see. Here I am getting ready to put in the finger holes. That way you can grab this plate and get out. You don't want to try to lift this plate out without having that because man, these things are heavy. You need something to grip. It's kind of a snug fit to get in there. And I'm just, just going through and putting some finger grips there. And yes, lovely Willy Wonka decided to show up and tell me, good day, you get nothing. Because that's right, all the work we just did gets thrown out the window. We must start over, unfortunately. It happens from an occasion here and there. But I'm going to save you the process of redrawing. But now we're getting the logo that we're wanting to do. And in this case, I'm having to go through and vectorize, which is what you just seen. And that basically draws out or traces out the picture that you bring in. Now, unfortunately, when you have a bad picture of pixelation, you get a horrible trace, which is what you see here. And that doesn't really cut it. I mean, we want a nice clean image to start with. So here I am gonna go back and redraw everything, make it nice, clean lines, smooth transition. So we don't have all these pumps and bumps and crazy lines. You want as good a picture to start with as you can so your product comes out good. So here I am doing the eyes, kind of triangulating them around the mouthpiece. I'm using a fun couple functions, not just the line, but also splines. And then I'll also use a little bit of the form tool and a grab a corner tool that kind of helps me kind of push everything like I want it to and get it to the shape I want. You know, this kind of is a long, tedious process of going through this because you just, you're having to tweak it. But you also notice I'm only doing half of it. And that way I can go back and mirror the other half and have it perfectly symmetrical. So I'm, I'm actually drawing these, these wings if you want to call them that with straight lines and then i'll come back and deform each of those to kind of get the uh, shape that i want on it and make it kind of more of the swoop effect that we like now here i'm grabbing the drag the corner and this just kind of helps me get the shape back the right way now we're going to mirror it over to the other side and there we have a full picture of what we want mirrored perfectly Basically drag it where we want it at, put it in place, and from there, we're set. But first, we must have in these eyes. These eyes, if you don't, they'll fall out. But in this case, being three-quarter plate and as intricate as this is, let's see if it'll actually work. I can tell you one thing. This three-quarter plate is not lightweight. So this is plasma cam. This is the program that actually takes the DXF and converts it to a cut line. Get this plasma on. I did a little quick cut right there. Had to stop it and redo some adjustment on it because it didn't save my settings. But now here we go. We're going to start the cutting process. So I'm running this three quarter plate. I'm running a, roughly about 15 inches a minute on it. And this first one you can see that I stopped on. I just didn't like how it was cutting, so I restarted it just to try to see if it was going to do a little better. And it takes about a three second pierce time to be able to get through this plate. Now this is three quarters, so it does take you know a little bit longer to cut than some of your other materials. This is not the max this machine can do, but when you get to this thicker material, it really doesn't want to cut good. It kind of gets more of a curve to it, and it's just really tough to get a good finish on it. It also it doesn't help that this bed has not been changed out in gosh knows how many years. So the plate doesn't sit exactly how you would want it to on there. Ultimately, you want the plate as flat as you can and parallel to the cutting head so you get a good clean finish on it. All right, and here's the first cut. You can see the eyes didn't make it. Very intricate piece for such a small area and such a thick plate, it just doesn't do well. Wasn't happy with this, but I sent a picture to the customer. They really liked it, so we kept going with it. Here, I'm basically just using a hammer, and I actually swap over to a kind of chisel hammer and knock all the slag off. 
or as much off as I can. That way I don't have to grind it all. I get all these big pieces knocked off, get them out the way, and then take a grinder, kind of clean up and finish up the edges. So I use a 40 grit sand disc that I use here. It's actually a cheap one off of Amazon. They actually do very well. Here we are starting the second one. And this one is gonna be just a plain one. It's just gonna be a plain steel plate with the handles cut out in it. That's all we're gonna do on it. All right, and there's the finished part of the second one. Well, the finished one at least until we get it ground. So once we actually get it off the table, do the finish cleanup on it, get all the hard edges knocked off of it, just kind of make it more appeasing to the hand. Well, really just so you don't get cut. There you go, both pieces cut out. I say the customer's happy. It's actually the dad that's seen them. The son hasn't seen them yet, so I'll know later on. All right, so here's the vest we've got. Now, if you take a look, the plates actually slide in from the bottom here, the Velcro strap. They slide down and in. And in this case, our plates, take them, flip the tab up, Slide it right in. Tuck your Velcro back in. And there's one. So we've got two, both the front and back. These notches are actually put in there for the vest. If you'll look here in a second, I'll show you. The way these vests are designed, they have this angle cut in them. And there's the finished product. 